Hello everyone and welcome! It's Keeper MC and we continue our survival on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, 2b2t.org. In the previous episode we finally managed to launch them fireworks and uh, put our hands back to work. And while doing crops I suddenly realized that our farmer villager <laughs> somehow managed to find the farms, which is cool, kinda, but then he started to put them wrong crops in the wrong sections, like, really? I mean, wheat is here, like, enough of it. But nope, he decided that he will put it over the carrots. So yeah, it's just amazing. Probably over the time it will become even more uh, messier, if I can say so. But yeah, as you can see... <sighs> he started to do the job without caring about the quality. Well, maybe not quality, but aesthetics or something like that. And for now, yeah, for now I'm not planning to do anything with it. I mean, let him work. I don't know, maybe... He will collect them veggies, share with them others, and maybe something starts will start happening, but for the moment I don't care. I will still collect everything and will sell everything to him, so... <laughs> In case if it will become really bad, I will just make sure to uh, move him back inside the territory and then, and then it will be fine. And in this episode, actually, I'm not sure, uh, I was thinking originally that maybe I can just go ahead, uh, pack my things and go for an adventure. We still have two maps to explore, but, uh, well, I think maybe before that I will try to spend some, some more time in the village. I still need to uh, trade lots of things, I still need to, like, repair my gear. And then, and then, and then only I will be able to go. But, uh, I don't know, well... Oops, I probably should not run in here. Uh, another thing I did in the background, well, I also moved the beacon. Uh, so, as you can see, it's not here anymore, it's down there. Well, it looks terrible down there, but for now it's just <laughs> temporarily measured, let's say, you know that. Uh, later on, probably, I will make sure to move entire of this room uh, to the center of a village downstairs. So it probably will require me to, to dig a new space, put them things again, move the fishing farm and stuff and stuff like that. But that's absolutely what fine with me. Slowly, but uh, we will start getting closer to... to, to building them them things and houses around well in a proper way not like it ha it is at the moment so yeah probably after some trades i will continue Well, I guess... So, we have a decent chest plate. Again. <laughs> uh, I need to turn off... what was it? This... it's just... Bit annoying to see some unnecessary information sometimes. Um, I just wonder if there is like any chance to apply um, to apply unbreaking on the shield. Because, yeah, sometimes the shield is just breaking apart. Yeah, for example, we have a separate book. Uh, 
really really it's doable <laughs> nice so basically all the time I spent in an end Somehow I missed it last time. I was like enchanting everything. But. Mending, unbreaking. Perfect. So now our shield won't break that often, which is nice. The only thing is not nice is that I'm having zero levels of experience. Okay, so uh, helmet boots. Yeah, so our set is complete again. Rather decent. Our sword, bow, two pickaxes, shovel, axe. Well, probably these two may go here. Uh, I probably need to. Hide them books because yeah I was wondering just just about like what to do next and uh, I spent some time running around um, the village collecting like resources and stuff like that and honestly it becomes so annoying I I don't know I mean it's just a bit too much so yeah I'm not sure if I'll go, gonna continue like collecting them resources or maybe anything else I'm starting like getting ideas about what to construct and stuff but but yeah trading is just annoying so yeah let's refill the furnaces seems that we need to start chopping them trees and making the charcoal again because I think I do not have any left and of course I don't want to spend lots of the coal uh, the regular one so I'll have to figure it out as well ah uh, yeah okay we have some seeds I don't need meaning that they can go to the trash and um, and what else so we have food, we have everything, we have chests, yeah, because I, I'm really curious to see if we will, like, succeed in exploring the ocean monument, uh, or, 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 or the, the woodland mansion, so I'm not sure, probably they are both grieved and there's, like, nothing uh, cool you can actually find, but, but still I'm curious to see, so maybe let's put them other things aside and just go ahead and do it because otherwise it becomes a little bit too boring so let's pull up those maps as you can see i have like how many 59 potions of experience so these are all all of my emeralds wait a second What kind of map is it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on! I spent most of my um, emeralds, I think 12 per, per map. And they look like that. Amazing. Does that mean that the other maps as well will look like that? No. Interesting. Well, probably it means that we won't be able to, to travel. <laughs> because we won't see anything on the map, probably. So we'll have to wait some time while those maps will be reset again and, and, and then probably I'll need to buy some more 
and only then we will be able to go. Oh, that's boring. I'm like the first day in, inside of the village and well like a few days and it's already boring. Yeah, but these are going to trash. And that's okay, we'll buy some new, some more. And I don't know, maybe should I go for fishing or like what? Those veggies are growing so slow, ugh. sure if you hear it but there is a zombie villager somewhere underneath so I'm planning to get one okay yep you hear it so let's light the way and try to find him. He just escaped, really? Hey, man. supposed to do with you um, are they actually um, can I I mean like use the lead to 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 bring him home that would be actually a really fast way nope so how do I get you home <laughs> That's exactly how I'm doing it. <laughs> if there's any better way, just let me know because I don't know. Boats doesn't seem to work fine because uh, we need to kind of rise above and uh, boat just doesn't allow me to do so. The lead is not working, so I have no clue. So I'm just pushing him using the water source in the direction of our village. It's just like... <sighs> How about you just go there? No? That's annoying. We already got almost blown up by the creeper, who probably didn't manage to despawn yet. And then I barely like jumped off the boat and hit it with a sword. 
But it still exploded, but yeah, yeah it's just so terribly slow, wow. But hey, we kinda did it. I'm not sure only about one thing. Uh, when you save a villager this way, uh, will it kinda stop despawning each time? Or you actually need to give him a name? So probably that would be the first thing to check, and uh, let's try to not to kill him. Let's see if I will just disconnect. Will he disappear? Because that's a good thing to know. If he will disappear, then next time I will... Oh no, he didn't, so Bob actually was not... Uh, necessarily be named last time. How about you jump? Hell yeah. Come on everybody! We have a new member. A second dude who does nothing. Well maybe he will start doing something eventually. Okay, enough. Welcome home. Will you take? Or you are vegetarian? That's nice. And I probably do not have anything. Yeah, yeah of course. Well, back to work. And if you wonder where I have been to 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 uh, find a zombified villager, and also why do I have such a mess in my inventory? Well, I've been doing some like farming, collecting things, and uh, was thinking about uh, the fact that mobs do not spawn like almost. And uh, I was just thinking that most probably they do actually in some like small quantities, but since there is like lots of holes inside the ground and like uh, dungeons and stuff, probably the mobs are always uh, generating somewhere below your eyesight, yeah, and you just do not see them like at any given moment of time. So I decided to try one crazy thing which will probably require me like a few months to complete but that's something decent and I really want to try so the idea is to eliminate the terrain around our village absolutely till bedrock I know that's a lot and for some of you it might not even seem to be doable but uh, I sort of have a plan and then and, and, and eventually, step by step, I will start doing it. And similarly as I did it with the um, uh, Pure Love Village itself, I started to mark up the territory. And then and, 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 and that's why I've been underground, because I was placing them first blocks. And then found this zombified villager. So as you can see, this is the terrain and how far it actually goes away. Uh, from our village because uh, what is that I want to achieve? Uh, I want to see nothing when I'm inside a village. So it's I think like more than eight, like probably nine chunks away from the border of the village. So when we will be inside of our village, nothing will be in eyesight, absolutely, just our village. And I hope that this will help mobs to spawn only below our territory. Uh, where we can actually try to set up some sort of a spawner. Some sort of a dark room, which will be the only dark spot within the whole territory, and hopefully mobs will start spawning. That would be actually really nice. Uh, yeah, so this is where I am busy. So I selected the uh, kind of sea level as the first layer similarly as I did it back in the days and as you can see digging, placing now I'm just trying to make sure that uh, uh, the 
the circle would be perfect, that I will do no mistakes, that's why it's only one layer. And for now I'm ignoring any sorts of terrains, waters and stuff like that, I'm just trying to place them blocks. And since this circle is huge, it's actually around like 200 uh, blocks in, in radius, so it's like almost 400 in the diameter, it will be a decent project. And of course it will require me hundreds and hundreds of hours of mining. Of course I'll try to use the beacon, uh, best tools and gears, maybe some TNT crystals and stuff like that, but yeah. For now it looks like that. It's already boring just to walk through the whole thing, right? <laughs> and yep, this is the place where we have found our new villager. And of course it also means that as long as I will start eliminating the, the, the ground, I will not only uh, destroy all the caves, all the walls, I will find all the resources possible, all the spawners, everything. So probably will need to set up hundreds of chests for the materials that are like worth to save. And then lots of it probably will go to trash because where can you put such <laughs> an amount of, uh, for example, cobblestone? But yeah, let's continue. Later on probably I will also do some more trading. And then and, uh, we'll see if uh, we can buy the new maps and uh, actually uh, travel to those two points I, I, I mentioned pr earlier. Because um, it was actually really funny, I will now show you. So yesterday those maps we were having inside of our village were um, still there, working, but uh, those which I bought from the um, cartographists were like corrupted with some image on it. And today I'm going to see my maps. It looks fine so far, but the maps are missing. Actually, they are not. It's just a weird map art. <laughs> So as you can see, well maybe it's not a map art because when you hold it in your hands it's empty. But well to me it seems that everything was like reset again or like glitched or whatever. Which means that for now we won't see neither the, the Pure Law Village itself, neither our like uh, logo uh, built in the skies. And probably the Woodland Mansion and uh, Sea Monument including. But that's okay. Eventually it will start working again. Uh, the only thing I will probably need to go to spawn to, to, to make a new maps of that region. But that's okay. In any case, for now, I thank you once again for watching, for being here with me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to approach me either directly in DMs on Twitter or right here down below the video. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.